pressure is getting worse as the search for justice keeps getting intense. Senzo Meiwa's case has been ongoing for quite a while now and there has been so many twists in this story. So many leads have come up. We have listened to so many different testimonies and narrations from different witnesses. Kelly Kumalo's sister, Zandi Kumalo, gave her own side to the story. Senzo Meiwa's neighbor also narrated according to the way he witnessed it and many others who were there that night. The problem here is the fact that Zandi Kumalo is not happy because the police did not bring in Senzo Meiwa's wife and his mother-in-law for questioning considering the fact that they were also part of the people who were with him that night when he got shot. This is definitely why Zandi Kumalo mentioned that it was Senzo Meiwa's wife, Mandisa, who sent people to take away Kelly's life, but Senzo Meiwa took the bullet instead. We all know that the number one suspect in this case is Kelly Kumalo because it actually happened in her residence in Vosloros and everybody is pointing accusing fingers at her for having something to do with the passing of Senzo Meiwa. Kelly Kumalo here actually has a very negative past. So many people are associating what happened to Senzo Meiwa to her past life with all the men she has dated. Some people are even calling her cursed because every man that she has had encountered with has gotten some sort of bad luck or some sort of disappointment. Something bad will definitely happen to this person and it all connects to Kelly Kumalo. That was why people did not hesitate to point her as the reason for Senzo Miyua's tragic passing. She might not have been directly connected to the shooting, but maybe the fact that people are calling her a cursed woman is related to it. Maybe the fact that she is actually having some sort of bad luck in her caused Senzo Meiwa to lose his life that day just because he was connected to her know that Senzo Meiwa has die-hard fans. Just like AKA, there are people who have decided to take matters into their own hands or swear on their own lives. They will make sure that the person who took Senzo Meiwa's life will be brought to justice and that is Kelly Komalo who is the number one suspect. And this issue of sending threats to people who are suspected for particular crimes is getting out of hand because it causes them to feel unsafe and Kelly Kumalo might be feeling unsafe because she feels like her life is in danger due to the threats that she is receiving from those people who want to make sure that Senzo Meiwa's case finally ends and the person who shot him or masterminded the shooting is brought to justice.